I'm Scary Jones, I'm uh, executive producer and I'm one of the on-air people, part of Elvis Duran and the Z100 Morning Show here in New York City. We were born like 27 years ago. Wow. 27 years doing our radio show for New York City in the tri-state area. I tell me you're one of the most popular radio stations in, in, in the country. I, don't, I mean, I, I don't know. Do I really have to just blow up my own spot? Yeah, like exactly. That? Why not? Okay. You're, being, you're being rewarded here today. All right. So, so fair enough. Uh, we're also heard on over 80 FM radio stations around the country. We're online. We're on demand. The iHeartRadio app. You know, you can get the show in so many forms. Now we're cutting the show into clips, and we're we're all over social media with it. So, yeah. you know, it, there, it basically we provide content, and uh, people view it, hear it any way they possibly can. So we reach uh, quite a few people that way. How, how is the radio industry doing uh, in this current uh, environment, this digital age? It's great, you know, listen, uh, you know, there's, there's smart speakers. You can call it up online uh, for that. You could call it, you know, you, you know, we have the app, we have podcasts, we have mini versions of the show, like little segments that mm. you can see on TikTok and, and mm. Instagram. So. Um, it, it, it may not just be about listening on an FM radio yeah. anymore, but for a lot of people, it still is. I mean, after all, people are stuck in traffic commuting to work in the morning. What draws you to being on radio, being a radio personality? I was always drawn to radio because, you know, quite honestly, it's that instant feedback loop, right? Mm. You're on the air, you're, ta you're expressing an idea, you're talking, and then all of a sudden, you get feedback in the form of people calling to agree or disagree. You can't necessarily get that with TV, mm, right? Yeah. Because, you know, there's a delay or something like that. With radio, it's like instantaneous. You know the, if the audience loves it or hate, hates it. We have text messages scrolling up the screen in real time. People are obviously now with, on, you know, with social media, they're all over our socials tweeting us, you know, sending us DMs, you know, about whether they love or hate the content or, you know, to move on yeah. or, you know, and, and, and basically, you know, radio is more intimate, I think. It's the most intimate form of uh, communication of all the media that's out there, in my opinion. I, that was going to be my next question. So, you know, you tripped me up for my next question. It's definitely more a more intimate platform, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, you become family with the people that are, at, you know, that, that are going to work with you every day. You're, they're suffering through the trials and tribulations in their lives and we're going through the same things in ours and we're sharing our thoughts and they're providing us with theirs, you know, and, and again, it, it, it basically becomes a, a situation where, where listeners become our friends, mm -hmm. you know, and um, they trust us and we're happy to have them. Yeah. A lot of responsibility. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but the other thing is we get to be ourselves. You know, we're not scripted. Yeah. You know, if we're having a bad day, you know, there's other people on the show that, you know, if, if, if what, they, what if they say if one spoke in the tire yeah. is broken, there's other spokes to lift everyone else up. But we're allowed to express who we truly are. It's not, you know, again, it's not fake. It's not fabricated. We could be our unapologetic selves. Did radio, did speaking on air come easy to you? Yeah, it did. I, I was always that guy who, you know, even from like middle school and, and even, oh, way back in the days of when I was in the fifth and sixth grade, I would be the guy to run down and, and raise my hand. I want to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I want to do the morning announcements. And I would get on the loudspeaker All right. of the radio, of the, of the school, <laughs> and broadcasting to 500 students. Yeah, so that was a good time back then. I, I remember doing that. Oh, cool. I could see, like, I just got a picture That's, of you in, in yeah. the middle of a boxing ring doing oh, it. It gets better. It gets better. <laughs> then I, I, you know, created my own fake radio station in my bedroom where I would have, like, well, I don't know if you know what a CB radio is, but it's, uh, like, it's like the... They used to, truckers used to have them. They go, Breaker 1-9, Breaker 1-9. You know, those little things, they, those little radios they had in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, used to, I brought one from my house, and I, I taped the microphone on, put it up to my speaker of my oh, stereo, cool. and I set up a couple of microphones at a card table, and I would just talk to my friends, and we would create our own fake Whoa. radio station. So it started there. Well, and did you, do, did you just do it in university, or what was your progression oh, into the industry? Yeah, no, of course. As soon as I got into uh, Brooklyn College, shout out to Brooklyn College, uh, <laughs> I joined the college radio station, WBCR, right. and I became the general manager, had my own show there, 
And uh, then I interned um, in radio, and then I got the job at Z100, and I never looked back. So, wow. so yeah, I followed, and I took radio courses everywhere. I, yeah. I was all radio, TV, broadcasting, journalism. I followed yeah. that path. Have you any kind of advice for people looking to get into the industry? Oh, turn back. <laughs> no, I have to. No, no, no. no it, it's Don't not, take my job. It's not too, it's not too late. To t- no, I'm, I'm not playing. You know, honestly, you know, the industry's changed. So you have to be more multifaceted. Yeah. You know, it's not just about talking into a microphone or, you know, editing uh, on an uh, audio software program. It's about being visual. It's about, you know, you know learning. Mm. Obviously, people know social media, right? But it's about being savvy in that way mm. and, and, and finding new ways to provide uh, compelling content Mm. it's all about the content so so i i say that um just don't think of it as radio or broadcasting it's 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 far yeah those days are far gone my parents used to listen to those stations in the 60s (laughs) on am radio it's like the oldies you know that it's not like that anymore i'm not sure my grandfather used to call it the wireless did you call it the wireless in america no the wireless (laughs) the wireless is the radio (laughs) wow it's all wireless now yeah yeah. i I don't know where you got that from i suppose it's it's in the air you're being um, acknowledged celebrated tonight tell me about the 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 awards i don't know how it's going yeah i mean what i i want to get this right so according to schnepp's media here uh, is this a wanted poster, or is this? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, the Kings of New York 2023 uh, honoree for the Pop Culture Community and Social Impact Award, mm. and I'm honored to have that because, and I, I guess I'm. You can ask me. Yeah. What does that really mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> how do you feel? <laughs> well, how do I feel? First of all, I feel like I don't know what I did to deserve this, but but I guess I am making a. a mm. I guess I'm with my team you know, mm. helping to make an impact on the community because of who we reach every day. Mm. Socially, I mean, I'm all over social media. I'm always highlighting local businesses and I'm a foodie, so I always, I love going into restaurants and filming my life and uh. all in and around New York City because I'm from Brooklyn, you know, and I still hang out in Manhattan and all over the place and I'm, I'm always showcasing and I'm always yeah. trying to prop other businesses up, so. What's your Instagram handle? Skiri Jones, spelled this way, S K E E R Y Jones. All right, this is pretty wild. This is great. I'm, this is heavy. Oh my God. This is like 30 pounds easily. <laughs> you guys don't spare any expense at Schnepp's Media. I'm pretty impressed. Do I get to drink out of this later? <laughs> we can arrange that. I love it. Mwah. Mwah. Kiss the cup. You just won the Stanley Cup. Why do you feel scary? <laughs> I have to hold over my head? Yeah, you're definitely yeah. Gonna <laughs> So are we all going to team up with Schnepps Media and, and Radio? What's going to happen here? Yeah, no, I, you know, listen, a lot of times some of the Schnepps Media, um, a lot of the Schnepps Media stories that they do in these local community papers end up on our show mm. in one form or another. Okay. So we're actually already yeah. working in a synergetic fashion, right? Yeah. Is there any Schneff's media publications that you... Uh... Yeah. The ones... Well, I don't... What's near and dear to my heart? The one I grew up with. Back in the day, growing up in Brooklyn, it was all about the spectator and the home reporter. And I know that Schneff's media took them over, and they still have a successful paper today. Okay. Awesome.